Okay, let's do practice exercise 2. Question 1. We need to find the total number of factors of P, where P is given to us as this. Now, I am sure all of you would clearly able to see that 441 is 21 square, 22 square is 44, 23 square is 529, 24 square is 576, and 25 square is 625. Okay, so let us write down P in terms of its time factors. So P is nothing but 21 is 3 into 7. So this becomes 3 square into 7 square instead of 21 square. 22 square is 2 square into 11 square. 23 square, 23 is the prime number. So we'll retain it as it is. 24 is 2 cube into 3. So 24 square should be square of this. So that becomes 2 to power 6. So let me write down 2 to power 6 under 2 square into 3 square. So 3 square out here. Or in other words, P is nothing but 2 to power 8 into 3 to power 4 into, oh I'm sorry I missed out 25 square. So 25 square will be 5 to power 4. So 5 to power 4. Then we have 7 square into 11 square into 23 square. How many factors will it have? Each of the power to be increased by 1 and multiplied. So the number of factors will be 8 plus 1, 9. Number of factors will be 8 plus 1, 9 into 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 plus 1 again 5 into 3 into 3 into 3. So into 3 into 3 into 3. Now I've always maintained you should work with the choices. Now when you look at this number, it has a 5 into 5. That means your answer has to be a multiple of 25. Any choice that is not a multiple of 25 becomes incorrect. Now we are left with two choices which are reasonably far apart. 6075 and 2025. One choice is 3 times the other. So don't worry about doing an exact calculation. Do an approximation. 5 into 5, 25. 25 into 9. Instead of 25 into 9, let me do 25 into 10 into 10. So 2500. So I can say... My answer should be greater than 2500, hence E cannot be the answer, choice D is the correct answer.